All right, YouTubers. It is time for another unboxing video. So, I got two cases in. Um, they are both from Newegg. And uh, we're going to do uh, two separate videos because Lord knows I need the money from the monetization. If I do them both in one video, uh, most likely you guys won't watch the whole thing anyway. So, let's talk about the first one. Sama. Sama. However you say that. I'm sure it's Sama. Sama-Z3. Kind of, uh, I don't know if I really like the way the box is packaged, but hey, that's another story. We're not here to complain about that kind of stuff. Here's what it says on the side. Um, I'll try and keep this uh, off to the side, basically, so we can talk about it. Uh, seeing as I can't really say that I prepared myself that well for this video. I um, had a busy day, just got back from the gym, and saw this, and I don't really want to wait to open it, so we're going right into it. I will try and uh, flash some of the specs on the screen for y'all. I know uh, some of you like that kind of stuff. Being an engineer that I am, I like seeing it too. So in the back is the uh, another video we'll be making, uh, probably right after this one. Do it yourself PC M28 TG, which uh, was a little more than this. I, can, I got this off uh, through Newegg, but it was on the uh, on eBay site. So I got eBay bucks, eight percent off or 8% back, I should say. So, um, I want to say it was like, it was definitely less than 40 bucks. How much it was total, is another story. Um, Virginia went to charging tax on all your purchases over the internet, so. All right, so, one of the reasons I got this is uh, I'm no longer, folks, uh, buying cases with acrylic on them. If they ain't got tempered glass, they're not going to make this channel anymore, I think. I think we've looked at enough of the cheap cases. It is time for some good stuff. All right, so bad, bad news about what's on the side of the box. It's all in metric. And uh, I would imagine most of the people that are going to watch this only speak in uh, inches, so not gonna work. All right. Um, so what do I see off off the bat that attracted to me to this tempered glass? All right, and that is definitely glass, not acrylic. Uh, up on the top, I'm assuming this is a removable. So this is really actually a huge uh, vented. Um, top cover, whatever, with a uh, magnetic, uh, I'm going to call it a filter. If you're out there and you don't like what I have to call that, correct me, because uh, I've said it on about 100 videos now. And uh, it's the only way we are going to uh, get that correct, but I think it is a magnetic dust filter. So also on top, you've got your power button. You have uh, probably a reset button hard drive and your uh, your power LED only one 3.0 okay so they get a ding on that two USB 2.0's also get a ding on well they don't get a ding on that um, then you've got a microphone headphone jack alright so let's let's look at the front we haven't even looked at the front yet SAMA so this is a uh, Probably uh, steel, um, plastic. I imagine this is plastic as well, and it does. It looks like it pops off. So let's take a look at it before we uh, open. The, take the glass off. Oh wow! So that's actually kind of nice. Um, 
I don't know if you guys saw that, but uh, this pops off and none of the connectors are attached to it. So I can easily put this to the side. And why don't I do that? All right, so our camera tripod. You know, if you're out there and you would like me to uh, do a review on a, on a tripod for a camera tripod, please send me your product. I would love to review it since I'm about over the one I got. Uh, somebody actually contacted me about doing it and then they thought I was German. I don't know how the hell they thought that, but uh, they rescinded. <laughs> they wanted somebody in the German market. So uh, I believe this will do three fans in the front, okay? And you want them to uh, blow that way. So nice thing about this case, okay? And I always ding these other guys. This actually... Um, is going to let cool air in from the front. So you can basically suck in that cool air, blow it across your motherboard and your other components. So that is, that's pretty wise. Um, you know, glass is a uh, insulator. So uh, not going to get a whole lot of heat transfer through here. Though, you know, some will obviously go through it because it's, uh, it's not double pane, not double pane and it is, uh, it looks rather thin. So uh, all right, so should we take the glass off? I think we shall. So, so far, I am, uh, I'm actually liking the SAMA. Um, you know, I'm a mechanical slash industrial engineer. I got uh, four college degrees. Not that I'm bragging, but uh, at least three engineering degrees, or three that are considered engineering degrees. And uh, I used to spend a lot of time designing products, so I do feel uh, at times like, what are these people thinking when they design this stuff? But this is uh, this almost can give my one of my my favorite uh, cases um, a run for its money. Now I haven't bought it yet, uh, but I think for the money, the Matrix Seventy. Uh, it's probably got everything I want in it. I've, I've, if you've seen channel, we bought the 50, we bought the 55, we bought the 30. Didn't like the 30. Um, I, I actually love my 55, but I, I sold it to a customer, and I have a 50 that I refused to sell to somebody. Um, so the only thing this does not have that would make it more awesome is an RGB strip in the front, right? So that this is going to lack that. And I don't know how good the lights will look uh, through this. Um, but now this, I believe, is uh, got uh, some kind of LED in it. You won't get to see that in this video. Uh, check back for the review when I do it. All right, so not as big in here as uh, some of the other computers we've had on here. I'm going to pause this, get some light, because it's kind of dark. All right, so I can't hold this light forever. Um, so we are uh, gonna go ahead and uh, look at the f inside. Now, without putting the motherboard in here, I can't tell you if there's much of a gap at the top. Um, my favorite cases always leave a little gap at the top. And obviously with the standoffs, you know, you can get your cables in there to get to the uh, uh, the CPU, uh, the 4-pin or 8-pin uh, CPU connectors. Uh, so I, I like just having the gap there uh, in case I want to do it after the fact or, you know, whatever reason I I build it uh, in the wrong order. Um, so let's talk about video cards. Now I've brought two very common ones out. Um, this is a... Uh, Let's see, MSI, MSI AMD RX Vega 56, which is a pretty nice card. And uh, you can see that that fits in there, you know, pretty good. We've got a couple inches of spare. Now, bigger card that we have in there, uh, I don't even know what the biggest card is these days, but uh, I'm pretty sure there's bigger ones than this. This is a GTX 970, which for the money, Buying something like this used is a great deal. Um, that one is just about at the limit. So if you do put case fans in there, um, you're going to have to dodge this thing, all right? So this, uh, 
This might not be the case for those of you that want a really big graphics card. And, uh, you know, since the back's box is in uh, metric, uh, so the max VGA card you can get in there is 320 millimeters. Hopefully I will remember to uh, do the math for y'all. I probably won't because I forget half time. And then max CPU cooler is supposedly 160 millimeters. So that's probably putting it right up against the, the glass. And uh, so this thing weighs uh, weighs 4.3 kilos. So 8.6, 9.4 pounds. And uh, of course, glass isn't on there. Take the glass off, it's pretty light. All right, so you see there are some uh, standoffs in here. Thanks to the uh, the folks that have you know made sure that I use the right terminology. Uh, sometimes we forget. Um, I used to I used to do some sheet metal uh, stainless design, and I had a different term for what a standoff is. Um, all right, so here is your uh, your installation guide, and. Uh, you know, nothing super spectacular about it, but it's nice that they included it. All right, so um, what do I see? So up here it's got SSD listed. So if you look hard enough, you should be able to bolt in your uh, SSD, maybe with two screws. It would appear you would only put in uh, possibly two screws to hold it up because uh, I don't see another place for it. So I'm, I'm thinking the... Uh, the your SSDs, your hard drives, your two and a half inches will be uh, going up this way. Of course, ATX motherboard, uh, who knows how tight everything's going to be. Uh, check out the review when I do that. It'll probably be pretty, uh, not too far from here. All right, so down here, uh, I actually really like this design. Um, kind of conceals the power supply, but yet you can, um, you can actually see that you can, uh, it's going to be able to breathe better. So it's got a uh, hexagon uh, shape uh, cutouts and uh, some other locations over here to run your cables, which is nice. This allows you to see the front of the power supply, which is uh, stellar. Um, let's look at the back. So, you know, standard ATX uh, power supply. This guy actually looks wider than uh, some of the cases. This looks about the same width as a Matrix uh, 50, 55, 70. It is not as tall though. Um, it's given up a couple inches there and lengthwise uh, doesn't compare at all. And then obviously your uh, your motherboard uh, would fit in here. Or excuse me, your uh, heat shield for your motherboard. And this actually looks like it is manufactured really well. So I'm going to tell you something. I did not get uh, contacted by uh, SAMA. Uh, a lot of times I do get contacted by people to review their products. And, uh, you know, Sam, if you're out there, hey, send me some more stuff because I will give you guys positive reviews. This is good. This is good quality stuff. Main China. Um, you know, these uh, edges right here feel pretty good. And even here, honestly, this is where I ding a lot of, you know, some of these companies. This actually feels pretty good, uh, except up in this front corner. So, Sam, do something about that. That's, uh, you know, actually kind of uh, a sharp spot and probably have the same thing over here, but it'll be covered with glass. All right, so let's take this off so you guys can see the whole, the whole interior. Um, I don't know if anybody's reviewed this yet on YouTube, probably has, but I got to say, uh, Hopefully nobody has, so more people watch this video. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna look more into Sama. To be honest with you, I may buy if they've got a bigger case. Uh, this one is you know a little smaller than I like, but it's got everything else, folks. This this was uh, engineered quite well. This is for somebody that you know honestly probably wants a uh, mini tower um, because. It's a, it's just a little bit bigger than mini tower, I believe. Um, maybe wider, uh, a little taller, 
about the same width. All right, so in the bag, um, looks like they've provided a uh, replacement uh, uh, bracket or whatever um, to cover up a uh, one of the holes that you, uh, whatever these things are called in the back uh, for your graphics card. So possibly to replace one if you break it out, uh, which I'm not, I don't know. Hey, if you're out there and you know exactly what this is for, go ahead and comment. I've, I've only seen this in like one other place and I've, I've been like, what was the point of that? Because I pop out so many of these, give me one doesn't do me any good. Uh, got cable ties in here, of course the little computer speaker to get the beep as you boot it up, as long as you put it in the right spot on the, the motherboard. More standoff screws, um, nicely packaged. Sometimes, well we'll see when we get to do it yourself. They, uh, they don't always do the best job. All right, so standard cables here, folks. Uh, all your stuff for your uh, the front of your well, it's actually in this case is the top connectors um, for the power for the hard drive light reset. All that is in these. Oops, I'm missing one. In these guys. Then you've got your uh, USB 3.0 here. One of these is USB 2.0, the other is going to be your HD hard drive. And then this would appear to be uh, for the fan. So you got your four, actually that's a three pin connector. Uh, three pin. And then uh, MOLED. So if this has a light on it, you know, a lot of times uh, I find that the MOLED uh, works the best as far as not only running the fan and the light. Uh, sometimes for whatever reason, uh, you don't get all the power you need out of this to, to do both functions. So uh, that said, like I said, I can't even remember if this has a light in it. But uh, these look these appear to be good quality, folks. Um, I am uh, I'm really happy with this. Uh, let's look at the bottom real quick. So another nice vent on the bottom. Too bad that is not magnetic. But that's a huge one. And then, uh, of course, down here is a spot to put one three and a half inch. You may be able to bolt a second one up top. It, uh, I don't know if that comes out. Yeah, it looks like it might come out of there. If you, uh, you loosen the bottom, you can get this out, mount it, connect it, and then, uh, you know, screw it back in. So, hey, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you got something out of it. Hope that, uh, you enjoyed it as well please like please subscribe this channel needs more support um, and that's about all I